Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on mass updates. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. This video is going to be dedicated to mass updates. It's one of my personal favorite videos in the series as a whole. This is where we can get your system up to date, right? So a couple videos ago, we showed you how to update your BIOS in singularly just your BIOS. And that's why I'm a big fan of this, because what we're going to do is update your BIOS, your onboard diagnostics, your firmware, your network card, plus a ton of other stuff. And it's really not that hard to do. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to connect our server to the network. We're going to go to Dell's network share folder that's going to have the updates. You pick the updates you want and then you run it. And we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions right now. And really, it's, it's, it's just that simple. Uh, it might take a couple hours to do after you run. It only takes a few minutes to set up. But depending on how old your server is, 15th gen is still relatively new right now. But in a few years, let's say you're watching this five years from now, it could take several hours. Sometimes we run our stuff overnight because it does take that long. And if we're doing a bunch of them, we just let it run. And then we come back in the morning and have them all done. So do know that going in. But let's get into the good stuff. All right. So let's show you how to do mass updates for your 15th gen server. And we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions for everything you need to know. So first things first, we are going to boot up our 15th gen server. Upon boot, we're gonna hit F10 to get into the lifecycle controller. Navigate to firmware update on the left side of the screen and select launch firmware update. Select network share CIFS or NFS or HTTP or HTTPS server from the options listed and click next. If you've not previously configured the network settings, it will prompt you to configure the network settings. At this moment, we will select yes. You need to select the network port that your CAT5 cable is plugged into. What we're currently using is integrated NIC1. Change the IP address source to DHCP and click next in the bottom right corner of your screen. This will apply the changes and automatically set an IP address, which will give the server internet access. Select HTTPS and in the share name address option, you're going to want to type out downloads.dell.com and then you're going to hit next. This will begin looking for all the available updates for your 15th gen server. Select yes to continue if prompted with a dialog box. This will take a few minutes to search for all the updates, so we'll fast forward. The final step, you're gonna select the updates that you wanna run. And you don't have to pick everything, even though we do recommend selecting everything. And then once you've picked what you want, just press apply in the bottom right corner of your screen. Do note that the updates will take anywhere from a few minutes to hours and hours, depending on how many updates are available and how many you've chosen and how old your server is as a whole. So just know that it can be hours. Luckily, the 15th gen is pretty new overall, so I wouldn't expect a ton of time. When we're updating some of the older 12th gen, 13th gen servers, we literally leave them running overnight because it takes so, so long and we don't want to clog up our lab. So do note that there will be some downtime. So if this is a server in a live environment, do know it's probably better to run the updates overnight. The server is going to begin downloading, installing all the updates, and then it will reboot after it's finished. Congratulations, you've successfully updated your 15th gen Dell server. Do us a favor, if you found anything that helped you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudinjus.com. That's sales at cloudinjus.com. And we also do spares and upgrades. So if you need to overnight a power supply because you had one go down, if you need upgrades for RAM or SSDs, if you need a rail kit or another network card, we can Keep all this stuff in stock. And again, we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care. Bye.